Travens is a training event in the Caribbean led by the United States Southern Command, also referred to as U.S. Southcom. The exercise brings together defense and security partners from different countries to improve security in the region. This year, about 20 partner nations participated in the exercise. However, Tradewinds 2018 was much more than just a training exercise for security and law enforcement agencies. It was about being proactive by planning and preparing for the worst of times. Phase 1 of Tradewinds 2018 was held in St. Kitts and Nevis, and a major component of that phase focused on human assistance and disaster relief, also called HADR. International Association of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies describe a disaster as a sudden, calamitous event that seriously disrupts the functioning of a community or society and causes human, material, and economic or environmental losses that exceed the community's or society's ability to cope using its own resources. Though often caused by nature, disasters can also have human origins. Hurricanes Irma and Maria should bring something close to every one of you and make you think about it could happen again. In Southcom, the commander, Admiral Tidd, tells us about being able to rapidly respond to a contingency. We saw in the earthquake in Haiti you have a moment's notice. And what Clears was telling you before was, you want to know who's on your left and right seat. You want to know who you can call immediately if something is to happen. In, in Southcom, we practice that you don't want to trade your, change your card the day that we have some kind of disaster. And so what we do is we continue training. Trade wins is a big part of that, of getting us ready for what we do. And then, the other part is that it is our major exercise in the Caribbean. During phase one, four disaster simulations were conducted. There was a ferry accident off the coast of Charlestown Nevis, a mudslide incident at Mount Nevis, an earthquake and tsunami scenario at the Ross University School of Veterinary Medicine, and a plane crash exercise at the roundabout just beyond the border of the airport runway. The HADR activities began with a tabletop exercise to discuss the plane crash simulation, which would be one of the most involved activities when considering the number of institutions expected to participate. Tabletop exercises brings all the relevant agencies together to discuss a simulated emergency situation. It was during these exercises that we were reminded of the critical role of the National Emergency Management Agency in coordinating the communication among all the critical players. That coordinating role was one that could not have been taken for granted. When the opportunity came to host exercise trade winds, we wanted to provide the airport with an opportunity to test its emergency plan. In testing the emergency plan, if you look at your post or your respective roles from the organizations that you represent, I'm sure you would have some interaction with the airport or operating within the compounds of the airport. Yes? Are you in the wrong place? Okay, good. That means you're in the right place. The tabletop exercise is, is two-phased and it's designed to support uh, what would eventually be a live event. But before going to the live event, this is like the rehearsal too. Do you know what to do and who is expected to do what in the event that something occurs? And this is an interactive session. There are no wrong answers. Uh, we won't know if we have the right answers until when, you know, we start implementing things and getting things started. If you have any questions, please ask. If there is uncertainty, ask. The reason why we are here is to make sure that you gain access to the necessary knowledge to be able to help us to make the best decisions in the event of an emergency. Where everybody else is depending on our decision-making processes to be able to get the, you know, the right actions. Some of the objectives of the drills were to test emergency response procedures, times and mechanisms for the agencies involved, and the activities were also meant to assess multi-agency response and coordination, victim transporting capabilities for the hospital, as well as the activation and management of an emergency operating center or EOC. 
it was an opportunity for us to really see where we are and actually work towards improvement. It was a great opportunity to measure ourselves and to move on. Participants involved in the simulation represented a large number of agencies and institutions. They included the Water Department, the Senkis Electricity Company, the Ministry of Transportation, Foreign Affairs, the local chapter of the Red Cross Society, the Department of Public Works, Her Majesty's Customs and Excise Department, and the St. Christopher and Nevis Air and Seaports Authority, as well as the Department of Civil Aviation, along with several others. Major Dan McNeil from the Canadian Armed Forces was a part of the Regional Observer and Assessment Team for Tradewinds. He identified some of the key lessons learned from the exercise as the need for the disaster response agencies to continually rehearse and to have a critical look at all procedures and actions taken during the exercises. I've been involved in two scenarios, one at Ross University and the other at the airport, and the responses from the Ross University was just outstanding with the evacuation of over 1,300 people. It was reassuring to see that the population supported that and participated in that exercise to make any possible changes so that in the event that the real incident occurs, they will be better prepared to deal with it. The other instance, same thing. Um, it's the opportunity to rehearse, find out what's broken, fix it and make improvements to anything that you need to make improvements to so when it happens you're not seeing the incident for the first time. When a disaster occurs the responsibility that falls on the responders charged with saving lives, crowd management and securing the scene are great. However, during the exercises it was clear that the medical staff at the JNF hospital, the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, the Fire and Rescue Services and the St. Kitts Nevis Defence Force were all prepared to take action when action was needed. But the men and women involved would admit that there was still much to gain from the exercise. The exercise and training has been extremely beneficial to the, to the St. Kitts Nevis Fire and Rescue Services in that it helps us to recognize our weaknesses, our strengths and, and, and gives us information as to what we need to work on. How do we improve our response mechanism? What type of you know equipment we need? Um, what type of training we need when it uh, in terms of personnel? And so the whole thing has been extremely beneficial. It has helped us to recognize a number of our shortcomings and uh, and, and look at things that we, we could work on. The training opportunities brought about as a result of the trade winds exercise being held in St. Kitts and Nevis benefited many more agencies and people than those who work in security. Now, if a disaster strikes, we'll be better prepared.